In this section, we will learn about Puppet security and troubleshooting. We will first look at how to perform certificate signing for Puppet nodes by creating policies. We will then move on to creating non-default file server mount points for use in Puppet and restricting access to them based on node names. Next, we will learn about tracking changes using Puppet metaparameters. We will then explore some security related community modules which can be used for system hardening. Finally, we will learn about troubleshooting server and client errors in Puppet. In this video, we will look at using policy based certificate signing for Puppet nodes. We will first understand the concept of policy based certificate signing and the advantages it provides us over the normal certificate signing process. We will then create a script on the Puppet server to check the incoming certificate signing request and validate it. We will then add some certificate signing request attributes to the agent nodes which will help the Puppet server to validate the agent nodes. Finally, we will run the Puppet agents to demonstrate the policy based certificate signing process. Generally, when a Puppet agent communicates with a Puppet server, it sends a certificate signing request. The server then needs to sign this request for any further communication to take place. As it is not possible to sign requests individually in a fairly large infrastructure, we usually configure the autosign.com file which contains DNS name patterns or wildcards to automatically sign certificate requests. However, in the event that someone gains access to our network and is able to make an agent node communicate with the Puppet Master node with the correct DNS name pattern, there would be no way to detect this rogue access and the server will still process the request for the agent. In policy based certificate signing, we create an additional level of verification to the process. When the agent node communicates with the server, it sends some additional attributes along with the request such as a secret key. On the server, we need to configure a script which reads the request and verifies if the attribute contains the correct key. If the correct key is found in the request, then the script returns a successful written code which then allows the Puppet server to sign the request and in the event of an error code, the certificate is not signed. This way, we have an additional level of security verification for the certificate signing process. In this example, we will add an attribute called verification key in the agent nodes with a secret key as the value. We will then verify the key on the server by using a simple bash script. On the Puppet server, we will first create a shell script file called csr underscore signing dot sh in the etc Puppet Labs Puppet directory. Here, we will add some basic bash script lines and we will configure it to always exit with error code 1. Next, we will add the executable permission to this file and we will also change the permission of the file to be owned by the Puppet user. Next, we will edit the puppet.con file of the Puppet server and under the master section, we will add the auto sign parameter with the path of the shell script that we just created. We will save this file and then we will restart the Puppet server service for this change to take effect. Now that we have added the script to the auto sign parameter of the Puppet server, we will go to one of our CenOS clients and we will try to run the Puppet agent command. So here we can see that the Puppet agent command failed and the certificate was not signed by the Puppet server. We will now go to the directory etc Puppet Labs Puppet on the agent node and we will create a file called csr underscore attributes dot yaml and we will add some content to this file. Here we have added a custom attribute called challenge password and we have added a pre-shared key as the value for this attribute. Now when the puppet agent command is run, this custom attribute will be sent to the puppet server along with the certificate signing request. When we now run the puppet agent test command, we will now see that the custom attributes are being loaded from the csr underscore attributes.yaml file that we have just created. The newly generated certificate signing requests are found on the puppet server in the location edc puppet labs puppet ssl ca requests. If we now check the new certificate signing request with the open SSL command, we'll be able to see the custom attribute challenge password has been passed along with the request. We will now open our policy script and we will 
remove the existing content and we will add some new code. We have first stored the key that we need to verify against in the variable verify underscore key. Instead of hard coding this key in the script, it can be stored in a separate file and then read in the script from that file. When the agent nodes run, the ID of the agent node is provided to the script as an argument. We have taken the ID and stored it in the variable cert underscore name. Next, we have verified if the certificate request file exists for the node. If the file is not present for some reason, the script exits with error code 1. If the file exists, then we get the verification key from the request by using the OpenSSL command. If the key sent by the agent is same as the key that we have pre-stored in our script, then the script exits with success code 0, otherwise it exits with error code 1. The script can be written in any language but needs to exit with success code 0 if verification is successful and with error code 1 if verification fails. Now that the script is ready, we will need to clean the certificate from the Puppet server with the Puppet cert clean command and then we will need to remove the SSL directory from the agent node. After this, we will run the Puppet agent dash dash test command and here we can see that the agent run is successful because the key presented by the agent has matched the key in the policy script on the Puppet server. The subtopic CSR attributes and certificate extensions under the topic SSL and certificates in the Puppet documentation page provides a lot more details about CSR attributes.